yesterday seems so far from me now I've got to close my eyes to see I swear to God it seems I've been here before Why am I back again? It seems out of fashion to be right So I guess that I'll be wrong And wear it like a badge across my chest Let it bleed from my arm When everything so frantic Nothing is for sure Take the metro south of here and search for something more And all that was forgotten seems to crawl back into my head And I'm wondering what's ahead That I keep fucking up And dad don't rat me off just yet I think I might be on to something here And friends, Romans, countrymen Hello, Pat? Ryan? Pat, yeah. No. No, it's me. It's me, Tony. Tony! Listen, I need you to do something for me. Oh, Tony. I have no money. Just Listen. bought some No, pack. hold on. Remember the Halloween show I told you about? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, uh, the Orson Welles thing. Yeah, I'm doing it. You won't get five minutes, so they'll fire you. I just got fired. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you doing on the air? Listen, remember, remember the sketch that I wanted you to do. Oh, yeah. 
vampires attack mm. Kilkenny and all that Look, kind of thing. I need you to yeah. do it tonight. Live in air. Tony, I'm, I'm not an actor. I can't just make this stuff up. Look, we're winging. Look, look. No, I need to know it. Can you get together a bunch of people tonight who can scream and shout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, st I'll see what I can do. Great. Jesus Christ. Okay. You owe me for this one, Right, Cyrus. okay, Brad. I'll call you in half an hour. Okay. You feel something is going to happen. You wait for it. You almost want it to come. Although if it ever did, you'd probably wish it hadn't. For Halloween cannot bring good things. Cold autumn winds cutting through the streets. Trees hang stark and black against the frozen star bright sky. People hurrying home past the headlight glare and the noise of evening traffic. Dancing in the face of the unknown on its grave, taunting it. Assuring ourselves that any little monsters around are just children, hopped up to their eyeballs on sweets, because of course, as we all know, the only thing to fear is fear itself. But we can never quite escape the feeling, especially on nights like tonight, that fear could one day become physical form, human form even. The essence of fear made flesh and bone and blood, especially blood. And if it's going to happen, then this is the night for it. Those black winter months closing in, bringing with them darkness and shadows and the unknown, looking unseen in the human imagination. Halloween, October 31st. Did you ever wonder what exactly you were doing on Halloween nights? Or what your children are doing this very night? What deep, ancient dread you are recreating in a plastic mask and some old sheets. Halloween is not a joke, people. It's not about Barnbrack and bobbing for apples, oh no. It originated among the ancient druids back in the dark, unforgiving reaches of time. They believed that on this evening, Samhain, the Lord of the Dead, called forth hosts of evil spirits. And they lit great fires on Halloween to ward off all these spirits. The ancient Celts believed that the spirits of the dead revisited their earthly homes on this evening. I know what you think. All this stuff is just the ravings of people who didn't have any telly and needed to amuse themselves in some sort of way. Ignorant, superstitious people who didn't know any better. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe. But consider some of the things that have been happening lately. I have newspaper cuttings here from the last few weeks. Stories of unexplained animal attacks on humans, or what the Gardaí claimed were animal attacks. Dogs going crazy, running in packs is the explanation. But nobody can find these mad dogs. Nobody has seen them. Is that convincing to you? The hospital had to deal with the victim of an horrific mugging. It's reported the victim had an unusual amount of blood loss. Hmm. I'll read a few more reports after this piece of music. Stay tuned. Your life may depend on it.
receiving phone calls about some kind of disturbance in the city center. On the line I have Pat Donnelly. Pat, can you tell us what's going on? My God, Pat, what happened to him? Pat, get out of there now! I don't know what to say. I've never heard anything like this. Dear God, all I can say is that if you have any sense, stay indoors. I know it sounds crazy. I know that after what we've heard, I think and hope that you'll agree it's not a safe night to be out. Christ. Nobody listens to his bloody show anyway. Various talismans and herbs, like crucifixes and garlic, supposedly avert vampires, but according to tradition, they can be destroyed only by cremation, or by stakes driven through their hearts. Belief in vampires originated in ancient times in Black Sea myths about ghosts who could be persuaded to come from the underworld by feasts of warm blood poured on the ground. In 16th century Central and Eastern Europe, vampires were held to be the spirits of suicides in the witch-hungry atmosphere of the times. They were also thought to be as sexually voracious as any emissary of Satan and to rape their virgin victims even as they drank their blood. selfish decisions that bred the virus in your heart, and the lies you told, the responsibilities you ran from, the little daggers you stuck in the backs of those you claimed to love. Every time you turned away from injustice, or worse yet, inflicted it yourself because something small and petty in you enjoyed it, or because you wanted to please the paying crowd. Every time you were a coward, every time you betrayed yourself, every time you were man or woman enough to love that person you should have, and countless other crimes and misdemeanors of the heart you've been guilty of over the years. This is the night it's all coming back to haunt you. It's right outside your door. And it's called Retribution.
Tony Summers Show as a special Halloween treat for real radio fans. It is also my last show. And I thank you for listening tonight and for every other night. God bless you. Stay safe. It's great, it's great, it's different, but uh, no, it's great, it's cool. Just thought I'd get dressed up for the night that's in it, you know? Yeah, it's a good idea. Come on, we better make a move. Okay. Hello. I hope it was worth it, Summers. Because this is the last time you ever get on air. I'd see to that. Hey, uh, no problem, you already fired me, remember? Oh, I'm not talking about this radio station. I'm talking about every radio station in the country. Because by the time I finish badmouthing you, you won't even get on fucking hospital radio. Remember the Halloween show I told you about? If I'm going out, I'm going out with a bang. This is going to be my war of the worlds. Nobody listens to this bloody show anymore. But we can never quite escape the feeling, especially on nights like tonight, that fear could one day become physical form, human form even, and the essence of fear made flesh and bone and blood, especially blood. And if it's going to happen, then this is the night for it. I'll inspire a revolution 